How to CPU Mine Pascal Coin First, I'd like to thank all of my viewers and those who comment on my videos. The tips in this video come from the comments on my videos. I feel like this channel is your channel. It's not really my channel, as I make these videos as I learn to help you learn, to make your learning easier. And this channel has really turned into a community of like-minded miners who help each other, share with each other, listen to each other, and learn from each other. And that is what a community is really about. Here is my RX470 rig. And you can see I have two start batch files, a GPU batch file and a CPU batch file. I'm using the version 2 AMD miner. I'm going to open the GPU batch file and you can see that I've added two command switches. I've added dash S with an IP address after it and dash N with my username. The IP address is the IP address of the rig that my wallet is on and the name is my miner name in that wallet. So I'll go ahead and double click and launch this batch file and you can see that the miner just starts right up. You don't have to hit enter for localhost. You don't have to type in your username. This makes launching the miner much easier. I'll show you the CPU batch file and you can see that I've added a dash C space 7. This is an 8 threaded 4 core i7 CPU. So I'm going to use 7 threads to mine on. Next, I've added the dash S and dash N switches again. So I'll launch the CPU miner and you can see it automatically launches. I don't have to type in my IP address or confirm localhost. Now the CPU miner is kind of useless. It's really irrelevant because it's such a low hash rate, just four to five mega hashes per second on these seven threads. It does not compare with the GPU miner, as you can see. So you're probably not going to use it. But I thought that I'd show you so that if you want to check it out, if you want to use it, you can. And here you can see the rig that I have my wallet on. Again, I'm going to open up the batch file to show you. Here after the dash S, I've just typed in localhost. Not an actual IP address, just localhost and then dash n and my miner name my username again now when i double click on the batch file it'll just automatically start the miner i don't have to confirm localhost i don't have to type in my miner name it just automatically launches and starts the miner So even though the CPU miner isn't so useful, I hope that you did find these other tricks helpful and useful. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.